All right, thanks for joining us. Well, the fall season for sports is starting to wind down here in the Valley, but we've got a full week before the postseason begins, so let's take a look at what we got. Glossing over volleyball here in the Valley, Eagle Valley, they're going to play their last regular season game of the year on the road at Farita Monument. The Devils are coming off a big win over Aspen. They won 3-0 and will enter the postseason as the number two seeded team from the 4A Western Slope Division. Right behind them, not too far off, is Summit High, who's going to enter the postseason as the number three team out of the 4A Western Slope. They don't have another scheduled game this regular season. All their attention is going to be on making a run in the playoffs. Battle Mountain, with an up-and-down season, is situated at fourth in that division right now, with the game against Steamboat next Tuesday. So after this week, stay tuned, because we'll give you the latest seeding updates for our schools here in the Valley when those playoffs start to pick up. Looking at soccer, the postseason's beginning already for Battle Mountain Boys Soccer. They'll take on Mullen Thursday in Edwards. The Huskies, they've only lost one game this season and will enter the postseason as the number three seeded team overall in boys class 4A soccer. So, you know, when you put together a regular season that goes that well, you're going to be seeded well in the playoffs. Eagle Valley secured a spot in the boys class 4A tournament as well and will take on Cheyenne Mountain as the number 29 overall seed. And switching gears to Class 2A soccer real quick, Vail Mountain School enters the postseason as the number one team overall. They matched up with a lot of 4A, 3A caliber schools with more depth, so they earned their number one overall spot. And they'll play their first playoff game on Friday against Front Range Christian. Now we'll take a look at football right here. Not many expectations for this Devils team, but... Eagle Valley will host nearby Glenwood Springs on the gridiron. Don't expect the Devils to make a postseason game this year, though. They've only come up victorious once and will have their last chance to do so against the Demons as they pretty much don't have a shot at making a postseason game this year. Bill Christian, on the other hand, sits at 5-3 and three and will play Wrangley this Friday on the road. The Saints are 5-3 and three on the year and sit at second in their division with a postseason appearance most likely in their future. Eagle Valley entered the Class 4A state tournament for softball as the 31st overall seed and matched up with second seeded Riverdale Ridge where the Devils, they got bounced in the first round. They would later enter a consolation matchup with number 15 Golden but couldn't get the job done there either and their season has now come to a close. Well, everyone in this valley loves a good rivalry game, and we had one last week on the volleyball court as Battle Mountain made the trip over to Gypsum to take on Eagle Valley High. Let's reflect on that game one more time. The atmosphere was electric inside the gym at Eagle Valley High as the Devils were looking for their 16th win of the season. But in order to do so, they had to go through the rival team, who was on a hot streak. Battle Mountain is able to quiet the crowd and win the first set on enemy lines, but this won't set back Eagle Valley. The Devils return and Battle Mountain throws it back short where Aspen Mish finishes the job for the Devils to give them their first set win 25-22 on the Huskies. All tied up and moving over to the third set, another close one with the Devils on top. Battle Mountain with set point on the line, pushes it back over the net, and Ava Jamon throws down the hammer to put the Devils up 2-1. Battle Mountain starting to lose hope as they move into the fourth set, and the lack of passion seemed to set them back as they fall 12-5 in that final set. Eagle Valley gets the better of their Cross Valley rival, 3-1, and improves to 16-5 on the year. Head coach Michael Garvey caught up with us after the game. Eagle Valley Volleyball just caught their 16th win of the season tonight against the rival school, Battle Mountain. Joining me right now, head coach Michael Garvey. Coach, what did you like from your team tonight? Uh, you said it earlier as we were walking over here, and I, and I thought that was resilience. Uh, you know, coming off a loss against Palisade, having a lot, uh, lost to Battle Mountain uh, previously, uh, this game put a lot of pressure on us. Uh, we don't want to lose two in a row. Uh, you never like losing to uh, the, the hometown rival. Uh, it's one game, but... We all know that it doesn't like that. So uh, I thought we came to play today when, when we had opportunities, uh, making mistakes or whatever else. I thought we did a nice job of just kind of narrowing it in a little bit. Okay, and what does 16 wins now mean for this program? Uh, you know, I think it's right where we should be. Uh, you know, I think the next two matches are ones I think we can get to 18 this year. Uh, and, and coming in, that's about where I thought we would be. 
You know, you look at the schedule, you never know who you're going to face in a tournament, uh, but you know your league opponents. Uh, you know, I think maybe we got a couple wins we didn't think we were going to get. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we expected to lose to Palisade and Battle Mountain this year. Uh, but we really focused on those opportunities. I think uh, this year, those things that said we've been challenged. And so we've had a number of different times, Battle Mountain, Palisade twice, where we had to turn around and respond um, as a team. And I think those moments are making us stronger as we head towards postseason. And these rivalry games, you know, they're also really special, but at the same time, you know, they can wreck you emotionally. What was something you were telling your girls leading up to this game, maybe, you know, to be thinking about instead of the emotions involved in this game? Uh, you know, it was a little interesting. You know, we, we, we came off a loss at Palisade. We're on October break. Give people Thursday, Friday. So you only have one practice coming in. And, and so we really didn't get those opportunities uh, to talk about, you know, is this a big game? But when you're playing Battle Mountain and you're playing your rival, you really don't need to say anything to your team. Uh, they know coming in on a game day like this, they're ready uh, to come in and play. Everybody's excited for the moment. Uh, and we've just done a really good job over the last couple of years of just being a really headstrong team. And so I think that gives us a big advantage in this type of game. And what does a win tonight against Battle Mountain mean for this Eagle Valley program, especially on their home turf here in Gypsum? Uh, for us, I think it was really um, now taking that step that says, again, off of a loss at Palisade, regaining that confidence, uh, getting back to saying, yes, we are the team uh, that we thought we were. Uh, that'll be interesting, right? Yeah, that uh, will We be. are the team that we <laughs> thought we were. And, and so uh, I, I think it was really good for us to, to not only talk about it, but to prove it and, and come out and do it. All right, well, we just got the lights shut off on us, but I've got one more question for okay, you. Yeah, absolutely. 16 wins on the season. What's the expectation from here on out before the postseason starts? Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, we've we got a great group that really believes, that knows that we can continue to get better. And so, uh, you know, we'll look at things and we'll look at the aspect, but every day at practice, um, you know, we're coming around and saying, you know, what's, what's the next step that we're going to do? What's the next thing that we're going to do uh, in order for us to get better? Uh, because there are places that we can improve. And so I think that focus uh, through two matches. Uh, we've got a little bit longer break before uh, postseason. We're going to try and find a couple of teams to scrimmage. Um, and it's about continuing to get better, about continuing to learn. Um, we're not going to be satisfied until we punch that ticket to state. Battle Mountain going to be one of those teams you try to scrimmage with? Oh, we'll see. You know, a lot of times it comes off. I know Battle Mountain, Palisade, a lot of those teams play a four-match tournament this weekend. So sometimes those teams aren't looking to scrimmage. So uh, we've got to look around and I want to see, uh, you know, as teams are finishing up, um, who's got a good record and who's playing well. So uh, Vail Christian's a possibility to bring over. They've got a solid program. Uh, we may reach out to Palisade and Delta. They're both having great years. Um, we don't mind getting on a bus if we need to. So uh, we're trying to search for that opponent and, and what the right spot is for us, but uh, we want to keep the sword sharp. It's funny you brought up Vail Christian because I'm pretty sure I saw head coach Brittany Branson in the crowd tonight. Yeah. But uh, so I guess that is maybe a good one to think about down the road. But Thanks, Coach. Yeah, you betcha. Um, you know, I think, again, looking at Ville Christian, like, we're in different divisions. We don't care. So we're, we're supporting them, too. They're having a good season. Uh, you know, if it works out that we can come help each other get better, we'll look at that opportunity. It's all love for the Valley in that absolutely, scrimmage. Absolutely, absolutely. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, you betcha. Now, for the first time since 2019, Air Force football entered a matchup ranked in the top 25. And the Falcons deserve to be here. They took on Navy in Annapolis, Maryland, where they knocked off the midshipmen 17 to six, and will turn their attention to a matchup with Mountain West Conference foe Colorado State this Saturday. So we'll have some in-state action this weekend to be excited about. Looking over at Colorado State, however, they're coming off a loss on the road to UNLV. That'll make them hungry for a win this weekend though, when they host the Falcons in Fort Collins. If you're an Air Force fan, watch out and expect this Rams team to play with nothing to lose as they sit at three and four on the season. After a tough loss at home to Stanford, need I say embarrassing, hopefully CU has been able to put it behind them as they're coming off a bye week. They'll turn their attention to a matchup with UCLA in Los Angeles, which I consider as a must win game for the Buffs. The Bruins team is solid, but if you look at the Buffs schedule down the road, you'll see what I mean because it doesn't get any easier from here. Taking a look now at a new AP Top 25 poll, Air Force is going to move up three spots to number 19 in the country with that win over Navy. The Falcons were picked to finish second in the Mountain West Conference this year, but look like they're going for gold as they remain the only unbeaten team in the Mountain West this year. Air Force football, man, they're looking tough this season, but I'm interested to see if Colorado State can put together some sort of rally since they have that home field advantage in Fort Collins, but it should be a good game. 
Make sure to stick with us for all your latest coverage in sports around the Valley and beyond. We'll see you next time.